friends today I've got a fun tune for you called cluck old hen I'm going to show you a simple version and I recommend you learn it by ear so that your mind isn't uh, stuck in reading the notes on the page and you've got a little bit more freedom mentally to be able to improvise this one's a really fun one to make up variations on and the sky's the limit it's hard to control myself uh, wanting to just make more and more variations. So if you enjoy videos like this and you'd like to see more, please consider joining my fiddle club on Patreon. The link is in the comments. Well, let's start out with the basic melody, which is... song by ear I like to listen to it two or three times before I even start trying to figure it out but that being said let's walk through it a, a bit so it starts on the E so you've got E A G E A D. And I'm doing a little slide into that A. And then E, A, G, A. We'll do that again. E, A, G, A. E, D, C, A. All of the C's in this are kind of ambiguous. They are neither C natural or C sharp. You kind of slide towards a C sharp. It's okay if you don't actually get there. So, and then you repeat that. So let's do that all together. So here's the B part. Here's the clucks. So you, there's all sorts of things you can do with these that we'll get into in a minute. Playing these down bow at the frog kind of gets that, uh, that, that rough kind of cluck cluck sound. So that's A, A, C. And that really is a C natural. The chord underneath that is a C chord. So you're kind of uh, more starting from C than C sharp. So C, A, A, G. 
And the next part is A, A, C, D, E, D, C, A. And another sliding C sharp. So let's do that second half. And you do that twice. So take a minute, practice each of those little sections that I did until they feel good, feel familiar. A good way to know that you've got it is can you hum it? Can you play it without using your instrument? Can you think without actually hearing the notes? That's a good indication that you've gotten it memorized. So how do you start making variations? Well, make it simple. Just take like that first little chunk we talked about. An extra note. Add one note anywhere. That means that you'll add an eighth note, you'll shorten something and end up with two eighth notes. So like or so take a minute and play around with that and add an extra note somewhere. The possibilities are endless and there are no wrong notes. Just play something that you like the sound of. All right, so you can keep doing that with the rest of the tune. That was just off the top of my head. I'm just taking that bare bones thing and adding some other notes to it. You can also add double stops. Your chords are A, this is G, so I usually leave it alone or sometimes I'll add that A, get a dissonance. That is a D chord, so you can play that open D along with it. And then all through here, you can play an open E or an open A. Couple that with your extra nose. And you're starting to really sound fiddly. So let's take a look at the second half. You've got these clucks. Doing down, down can get you a, that nice, um, that cluck, cluck sound. You can even um, crunch it. Uh, you can play them as double stop. You can play them as left hand pizzicato. So there I am using my pinky. I think it's a better choice on your third finger, although you can use your third finger, there's nothing saying don't. But I think the fourth finger actually gets a better grab on those two strings. You can play this whole thing down an octave. Next part. And play around there. And then the next part. idea you can change octaves. You can still do that pluck while you're down here. So you can make
make this as complicated or as simple as you want and just have fun. It is a fun tune to play around with. So let's play this together. I will play the melody two or three times. You can play along with me and then I'm going to let the backing track run and you can improvise to your heart's content. I'm uh, not responsible for any slip ups of the fingers, throwing in some extra fun things. One, two, 